What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Little Sis Reacts. I'm Tamash. This is Taya. Hey. And today we're on How to Get Away with Murder, Season 3, Episode 8, No More Blood. Uh, I believe where we left off briefly, Frank uh, was just confronting Laurel after being rejected by Bonnie. Um, and not that he was going after Bonnie any like sexual way he was more she he was more so looking for comfort more, a friend but she was like you ditched me you had your chance i tried to help you and we were gonna run away and get away from all this but you didn't and now you're coming back mm -mm, i'm not about to keep playing these games go plus she really is trying to be there for annalise at a moment when everybody's kind of against her um because she just loves annalise she's just always been there for her um well not always but you know in recent years um about 80%. Yeah. yeah. And then flash forward, uh, Wes is talking to the police, making some sort of deal, but the details are unknown to us. But he's alive, just making some sort of deal. Um, I guess it, it's led to believe that he's going against Annalise, and that's why she's being in jail. Because I think when they were, Annalise was asking about charges, and they said they had something like a witness or something. So, yeah. But we're literally... It's this episode, and then Nye. Nye usually tells us everything we need to know about every the flash forward. So they'll probably give us another big hint, but or well, we're gonna get to see the events leading up to it, of course. But yeah, next episode is the big one. So I don't even know what else to expect at this point. But yeah, it's been ramping up. So let's just jump into it. Full and early reactions are available on our Patreon. An anonymous source. That's all they would tell me. Is it you? Come on now. Don't doubt her. Look me in she was gonna go to jail for y'all. Right. Don't do that. Then I can move on. It's not me. We gotta stop that in Bonnie. Right. She's a ride or die. I mean, she literally killed somebody for y'all. I'm done, Bonnie. I could get through it before because I thought it would end, so. but I can't do it anymore. I'll find out who it is. Okay. Y'all yeah, been through a lot recently. I'd be tired too. Annalise. What are we wake up. Oh my god. Wake up. Oh yeah, everything about to go down. The time is it? She's yeah. back. Oh. Is she love me. Like a brotherly, we've been through a lot together, kinda of love her. The real kind. Like a man. Why are you here? I'm and I love you. For you love. I need you. Go away. What about when I needed you? Right. When I called you over and over again. Right. I didn't want to involve you. Oh, and you're fine involving me now? Because I'm in love with you. Oh my God, stop. Too late. No, I always have. No, you don't. I don't know anything about you. You do. You were That's in true. jail and you never told me. I had to hear it from your father. I'm sorry for that. I don't care. You're sorry after the Just fact. Just no. leave. No, get out right now. I know to you, you have yourself to blame for that, Frank. I know. Okay, and I get it. Just, I'm scared what I'll do if I gotta be alone tonight. Oh? <laughs> it's funny. Answer it. Frank's Hi. back. She's trying to Is he there? Go. Oh. Laurel. Yes. Honest. Are you safe? Yes. Are you sure? I'm fine. Good. You tell that bastard that if he comes anywhere near this house, I'll shoot him. <laughs> tell him, Laurel, I need to hear you say it. <laughs> he just wants hey, to Lisa, talk. she gonna shoot you. Go by her house. Give me the phone. No, he doesn't get to talk to Give me. Give me the phone, Laurel. Keep him there or he's dead. <laughs> What'd she say? take one for the team. Clearly he must go over there because she's end up in the house in the fire. It was the fastest hookup of my life. That happened on top of my $400 duvet. I'll wash it tonight. No, you'll buy me a new one. Or better, <laughs> get an apartment where you can soil your own linens. Wait, soil is in like 
You're obsessed with gay sex, huh? I just find it interesting. Also, can we take a moment to enjoy the fact that I get to cross gay wedding off my bucket list again? It was just sex, relax. It wasn't just sex. It was sex with a boy that broke your heart. Thank God I know how to separate sex from feelings. Even with Oliver? Whoa, your mom's calling. She's here. Oh, not the decline. You're driving. Why? So Asher and I can screw in your back seat. She's telling you she has a dog. Yes, please. Michaela's petty. I thought all you young people were addicted to your phones. My battery died. What's wrong? You just received your first subpoena. What? Is it You're closed here? I have to take the stand and say I saw Charles that night. Are you surprised? His lawyer is trying to get your testimony thrown out before the trial. They can do that. If they present a solid alibi, his cell records, security footage. An actual person that he's paid off to say that they were with him? That's what you said. I can just claim I saw a guy who looked like Charles. So he goes free and the prosecutor looks into your life? Then what do we do? Find the alibi. How? Tell me. Where is he? Oh. Sorry. This episode should have been named It's All About Frank. Name what? It's All About Frank. Oh. So, there was an episode named that Annalise earlier. needs your help. Oh. Uh -oh. She's there all night. With the last. Yeah. Why did you call me? I don't want to worry you. Now I am worried. Why? Oh my God. Tell me nothing happened. Of course nothing happened. There's a right to be a little jealous. Right I do. I just... You I don't up. trust him. No one does. And at least does. Otherwise, why is she using him to help us? Because she is protecting you. As always. Hey, that's all any of us want. So, so it's not a person. You'll know more after tomorrow's hearing. It'll be worth the wait. Is that him? No. President Harbrook's office. Divorce papers. Raul served me here yesterday. He wants full custody, the house, spousal support, and oh. if I don't comply, he's threatening to take things public. Didn't I give you Nina's number? She said the fact that I pled guilty to reckless endangerment of my kids makes it nearly impossible to challenge this. You pled guilty? In order to keep the file sealed. I didn't oh, want the board to God. find out. Because you're afraid you would be judged by one mistake instead of the entirety of your hard-fought career. You dug yourself a hole. What do you need? Tell me what you would do. <laughs> if Nina's as good as you say, even she thinks I should settle? What would you defend me if I kill him? Mm. All right, I'll read this and see if I can find an alternative. Thank you. On top of everything else. Hey, um, going on. I got you a present. Just a little something to show you how much I care. Uh, I'm kidding. I told the delivery guy to bring him to you. Oh, you got face flowers. It's so sweet. Those aren't for me. Chocolate, like this. Secret admirer? Thomas. You know, this probably won't work for them begging for another chance. A million ironic sorries. Thomas. He was right. It won't work. Hey, since I only so sick, you maybe want to go. Go fishing, go spelunking. Yeah, spelunking you sounds perfect. Connor, we have to go. I think I'm gonna skip arbitration. Bonnie needs us at the house. There's something going on. Sure that Alice just wants to yell at us some more. Sucks, right? You can penetrate him, but never their inner circle. 
Don't what? push him. Frank's the up. one that started this. I know. And now he's going to help us get out of it. Do you have any idea how insane you sound right now? No one is saying all is forgiven. That's exactly what you're no, saying. It's good to know, actually, that we're allowed to shoot each other's fathers and so to stay in the cult. You're missing the point. Do not stick up for your boy toy right now. <laughs> Seriously, you guys probably went on some murder spree and, and banged on top of a corpse. Okay, can we all just focus on what's important right now? Finding that my kid and that it's the beard. He doesn't have a beard anymore. What? We need to stall the hearing so Frank has time to find the alibi. Fine. Do it. Why are you going to Yeah, he was the one stupid enough to lie to the police. He can save his own ass for once. But they thought up. Them too. This needs our help. Doesn't hurt to be when you fail out. <laughs> or die. Yeah. No, no, thank you. They've been over it since the start. It's really nothing weird. Think of stall tactics. Grounds I don't blame them. I thought it would be like them. Or a motion well. to disclose the alibi. Uh, Ollie oh, could hack the Mahoney's lawyer. Or I could call my father, he could track their phone calls. Frank is finding the alibi. We need to focus on ways to delay the hearing. How about my medical records from when I was at the psych ward? Charles' lawyers knew that they'd want me to do a psych eval before I testified. No, we're not giving your medical records to the people who want to discredit you. It buys us time. Go. But don't we want to discredit Wes and make it seem like he was just off so the no, because then they might try to argue that he's crazy and he killed uh, Bob. I don't know. Oh, okay. Even though witnesses saw that he didn't kill him or shoot him, he was. I don't know. It's a weird investigation. Plus, Wes could get in trouble for lying. I mean, like, if you would lie, why would you lie? If you're innocent. So it's just things like that. Oh. Change your mind. Oh, the girl that works for I know, right? He wants to make up for what he did so bad. What does it look like? Oh, oh wow. wow. If they're meeting this close to the hearing, she has to be the alibi. Who is she? Frank said she worked for the family during Charles's first trial. She's the one who gave Frank the money. I told him to follow her. If we want him to take care of it, she took your son from you, Annalise. So, I was right. Oh. <laughs> if she's the reason that you wanted to break up, you should have just said that. Maggie, it happened to me. Mr. Gibbons. Your records. Hi, Maggie. Uh, I was a patient here last year. I don't care. Just go. I have damn feelings. It really wasn't the reason, though. It was. It was a lot. It's more so what you don't know, Maggie. That's the problem. Yeah, get back with Bobby. Cause we're tired of you, Michaela. What? Must <clears throat> I heard uh, Frank? Kill Wes is dead, and now he's working for AK again. So, do we like Frank? Do we not? I'm just kind of lost. Go home. Study for your midterms. She's like, you're asking questions. No. You can go now. <laughs> I'm all about the team. We're ducks, and ducks fly together. It's mighty ducks. It's a great movie. Asher, I'm telling you, Michaela and Connor weren't wrong to leave. I'm about something bad's about to happen. Something bad's always about to happen in this house. Go home. Yeah. Foreshadowing to the fire. You got your medical records? Which he clearly is yeah. not in. Because he clearly goes home at some point. Messenger just dropped us off. No sender. Maloney filed a motion challenging Wes's competency as a witness. Hearing was pushed today so Wes can sit for a psych eval before he testifies. And you tell me this why? Because I know you slipped the defense his medical records. It's quite an accusation. I'll keep this one to myself. But any more interference on my case, and I'll have to report it to the disciplinary board. As long as you're okay with me reporting that you broke privilege by telling me your client has mental health issues. Hmm. Gotcha. <laughs> we both want to protect the boy. Let me do that. Man, at least quit. 
Yeah. Don't come to her house and threaten her, huh? Because she's ready to fire right back. Is Frank still watching her? Tell him to do nothing. I mean it. If he hurts anyone else, I'll turn this all in. Ooh. And I'll burn down the house myself. She's slapped the judge this time, and she needs to blackmail him. Weston and Lee's are working some crazy court case in New York. She asked for our help, and I said no for once. What's a court case about? Because, I mean, Ollie, Weston needs our help. He has enough people worrying about him. Otherwise, Emily would call you and maybe go over there today, too. But she didn't, so we're bets. Oh, I thought that was mine. That's a terrible ringtone. You already have tons of spoiler ones. The more I realize he's a jerk, he clearly doesn't want to quit. I don't blame him. He got a taste, and now he wants seconds. Just like me. <laughs> You're a sensitive person, so you care about Wes. What happens to him? Yeah. You're only that way because you grew up in a family that was nice to you. That's not an accurate statement about my parents. And what are you saying? It's your parents' fault that you're being cold? I'm not cold. I'm putting myself first. Okay. Is that something your mom taught you? What do you want to know? Everything. But first thing is, why did she call? I don't know. I deleted the voicemail. Our relationship is complicated. Like my dad and me? This is different. Is it? Because, you know, sometimes I wish that you would leave me a voicemail, but all right, he's dead. <laughs> if I pick up the phone, she's going to ask me for money or to give legal advice to some methy cousin I never even knew I had. Yeah, or maybe she's dying of cancer and just wants to say bye. I said goodbye Ooh. a long time ago. Do you ever think about hurting yourself? No. Have you ever intentionally caused physical harm to another person? No. Uh, that's Have you a ever lie. heard voices that others can't You're going to take Frank back. So that's a yes. I didn't say that. You didn't say no? No. I don't believe you. Well, that's your right. He's responsible for you losing your baby. And you killed Sam. We love uh, shooting a gun at people. Fully <sighs> loaded. When we get tired. tired. So am I. Girl, just answer the questions on their forehead. <laughs> He'd be lying. How's Laurel? Did she tell you? She didn't need to. I'm glad you have her. Me too. I'm going to bed. Uh, are you? Ellie's. It's Frank. Put it on speaker. Hey. Check your email. You went into their house? Frank, where are you? In our house. <laughs> this dude is crazy. Oh my Name's God. Lisa Cameron. She's got a kid. Madison. I seen some photos. He's Sorry. definitely good at what he does, but uh. You need to leave. This way at least needs mine. Frank. It's an eye for an eye. Frank, if you go anywhere near that woman or her child, I'll send the police right to your ass. No, he's. You hear me? No more blood. Yeah, she don't want that. Promise she me, don't Frank. Want you to kill somebody for her. Frank? Yeah. Hey. Okay. Better jump out a window or hide or something. Do not kill that You man. promised two stories. Oh, good. We'll finish this one and then it's to bed for both of us. And he huffed and he huffed and at last he blew the house down. Classic. The third little oh, always the best a man with a load of bricks. Ain't that creepy though? Just scary knowing somebody can just be in your closet. No. Yeah. No, because nobody's in my closet. Yeah, they don't think so either. <laughs> I, well, I go in mine, at least I see you in the same closet. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, but. Okay, I was there earlier. <laughs> Gotta open it in the store. That's crazy. I just want to smell it. Somebody gonna come around the corner, ma'am. You know you gotta buy that. <laughs> what? <laughs> to be fair, I was crazy. Munchies. 
menopause. Mm. Let me all. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a doorbell. No, that was an exit shit. Yeah. Hello? Hey. Right. Where are you? I just snuck out. confidential evaluation, which means I am legally bound to report my findings to all parties involved. Your attorney is present to advise you of any legal ramifications of certain questions. Understood? Yes. Have you ever wanted to hurt someone? Physically? No. Just emotionally? We all get mad at people. I'd say that's pretty normal. Just Do you always tell the truth? That'd be impossible. Did you tell the truth about seeing Charles Mahoney on the street that night? Yes, I would never lie about something so far as that. Charles, the brother. Do you feel like you have a good support system in place? I do. What's wrong? Nothing. Just need to talk about Wes. <laughs> yeah, he uh, told me you knew. It's our lives, and you can only have so much say. Well, I'm happy for the two of you. I just you do. On a scale of one to ten, ten being the highest, how would you rate this support system? Ten. I've never felt more cared for in my life. And always seen you. Yeah. No. Oh, you're lying. I heard you're working for the DA now. I'm not getting involved with whatever this is. Even if it's for Wes. Everybody loves the puppy. He's in trouble. That concludes the evaluation. I Any love how Nate Connor us? and Michaela are just over everything. Like, okay, I don't. I don't. How'd it go? I've been cleared to testify. Yeah. I knew her boy wasn't Craig Craig. The state calls Wes Gibbons to the stand. solemnly swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I do. He definitely uh, got himself in a situation. Why did you approach lied. Wallace Mahoney that night? I was lost. I needed directions. Did you see anyone before you crossed the street? Yes. Is the gentleman sitting right there? Let the record show that the witness has identified the defendant, Charles Mahoney, as being present at the scene just prior to the shooting. No further questions. Mr. Gibbons, you said you were lost that night. Yeah. Where are we trying to go? Is it possible this was because you were disoriented? No. But isn't it true you were placed on a psychiatric hold due to exhaustion just months before winding up at the scene of this crime? Objection. The witness passed psychological evaluation. Challenging recollection, Your Honor. I'll allow it. Don't you think your mental health issues might have confused you as to what you saw that night? No, I know what I saw. It was him. What's driving you to tell this lie, Mr. Gibbons? Objection. Compound and argumentative. My client has an alibi. There are no phone records or surveillance footage placing him at the scene. Only you, a law student who happened to get lost at just the right time. Counsel's testifying, Your Honor. Sustained. Are you working with someone who wants to take Ms. my client down? Benton. Or perhaps you're part of a plan to shoot and murder my client's father Ms. in cold blood. Benton. Keep going like this and I will send this case to trial right now and sent you so you are unable to represent your Oh wow, that judge don't play. He did great. Come on, you we need a couple of them some time in the end of the day. No, some of them let stuff slide. Won't leave a sign. It's fine, just call me when you know something. Why, why are you looking at my eyes like She's that? She's mad. Girl. Recess is over, I'll call you after. So? 
Right. Dina was right, it's a loser case. Please, don't hold back. But there's a way to fix it. You appeal the child endangerment plea. My alcohol level was off the charts. I didn't say it was going to be easy. Easy is different than impossible. You know what? I'm guessing you didn't get to this office by quitting every time a man told you no. This is about my kids. If giving him my money lets me have them back. For two visits a month? Supervised by a social worker who sees you as the enemy? You fight this. Especially if your children mean as much as you say they do. Of course they do. Then why aren't you but fighting? I am. Well, you're not. You're calling me to your office to cry for help. That's not a mother anyone would want. They want a beast. You have that. You're just letting this one man beat it out of you. Is that what your husband did to you? Uh, oh. A lot of men. Everybody just keep going lower. Okay. Right. Like, like, oh like, my you're going God. Lower, I'm going that way. You don't what? You think you can do better? How did you meet Charles Mahoney? At an investment banking conference earlier this year. That's when you two started sleeping together? Yes. We would meet once or twice a week at my home. What time did Charles come to your house on the day that his father was murdered? Around nine. Did your daughter see him? No. Because he wasn't there? Because I don't introduce my daughter to men I'm not serious with. When's the last time you spoke with Charles? Before he was arrested. Has there been any contact since? No. Nothing at all? As I said, no. Then explain the call you made yesterday from your home to Charles in prison. Munchies is an actual fix. I'm not getting involved with whatever this is. Even if it's for Wes, please. He's in trouble. Oh, they're good. This is Nate Leahy, an investigator in the Philly DA's office. Be quick, I'm about to head into court. The okay, suspect here says your guy up at Rikers. Charles Mahoney has a burner in his cell. Hello? Hello? That's why Bonnie wanted them to go back in. That is your home phone number, isn't it? Yes. Assumes facts, not in evidence. Here's the burner phone recovered from Mr. Mahoney's cell, along with records corroborating the incoming call came from the defendant's home. Miss Cameron, did the Mahoney's pay you to lie on the stand today? Objection, badgering the witness. Overruled. Answer the question. No. Really? Oh, so your daughter made the call to Charles. Or more likely, you snuck a burner into the cell so that you can get your story straight today. Judge, the defense requests a chain of custody hearing to determine the veracity of these claims. Why? We have an eyewitness that places your client at the scene of the crime. His fingerprints and the murder weapon. <laughs> not to mention a financial motive that exceeds $25 billion. Please, Your Honor, let's not waste any more taxpayer money. Just months ago, a maniac with a gun took away the love of my life. I have never felt such grief until today when I realized I might lose my only son, Charles, as well. As a mother, I feel helpless watching my son be the a crime he did not commit. As a citizen, I feel anger towards a system that allows innocent Dream. Just the news. That lawyer ate that that uh, case up, but Annalise and them spoon fed everything. Look, if I hacked your laptop, would I find out that you're actually reading about Weiss's court case? Did you not hear me when I said that I wanted to stay in the bubble? Yeah, I did. Uh, I just don't believe you. I would have been like, come on, like you are a time. Time. I've always been Dude, honest with you about how there are certain Jack things I can't tell you for your own protection. Boy, you don't want to bring that up. That's what led to the breaking up. All I've ever oh, done. Yeah is tell you to stay away from Annalise, but instead, your dumbass begged her for a job. Here we go. And what, like three nice days? And I'm already remembering why we broke up in the first place. You said that you broke up with me because you needed time to yourself. Was that a lie? It no. makes sense. <laughs> How does this have anything to do with why you dumped me? Because you've never been totally honest with me? bigger than me. Look, if you're so curious, why don't you ask Annalise? Oh, so this is Annalise's fault? Yes! Yeah. No, no! You were the one choosing to not tell me about the stuff going because on. Because it's West. not my place. Maybe it's because you're afraid that I'll really know who you are and not like him. You do know me. Parts of you. But guess what, Connor? I want to know everything about the guy that I'm with. The good and the bad. That's what love is. No, I think love is letting a guy stomp on your heart and still being there for him when another guy rejects it. Oh, you think that letting me cry on your shoulder is proof that you love me? Yes, because I do. No. 
I think you only love the idea of me. No, like, I like love some you. security blanket that you wrap around yourself every time things get too intense that's not with Annalise. And that, that's not real love. That is just some severe, messed up emotional damage that you've been carrying around with you since the day I met you. Is that what you think of me? That I'm damaged? I mean, it's kind of true. <laughs> I kept telling myself that I was the jerk this whole time. Connor! Connor! Now what Oliver just explained was a real reason. Think why Frank that that makes sense. Reason. It was that makes sense. That makes sense. The rest of it was like, before I was like- You don't think I could take him? But, uh, no. He was lying. Your words. Well, he was saying like- Of course. He dumbed it down. Yeah. Today was a good day. Tomorrow? Let's not think about that. Come here. I've got you. You're always looking out for me. That's my turn. Go on. Be in there. The reunion of the century. No. You had your time with him, lied to my face about it. This is my time. Leave. Well, it's one week before the house blew up, burned down. Paw Patrol called. Well, I mean, I think a couple of days have passed now since the beginning. So, I don't know. Because what the place has been recorded. Oh, yeah, you'd like say that couldn't happen yeah. just like 24 hours. Correct. Thank you for seeing me. He looks terrified. Really? You're gonna screw all when her mama comes, we know we all not trying. Us. What's wrong? I hate him. I hate him so much. Oh. Um. You're gonna need to pay for that. What happened here? What? Why did he wear her robe? But <laughs> he does too much. You don't think Connor set the fire, do you? Do you think he snaps? Because he, he, look at him. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Hello. I beg Sam, let me tell you. He Every day, me. after we got back, you were just locked up in that bedroom. But he wouldn't even let me in the house. Now he knew me so well. He knew how to make me do what he wanted. And the more time went on, I thought maybe he was right. He went back to work. Got better. I never got better. You watched me suffer all those years. You watched me think that I killed my boy. But you watched Sam, Sam and I fall apart. To be fair, Sam told him not to say anything. And you said nothing. Still. Sam wouldn't let me. You had all those months to apologize, and all you can do is blame Sam. Oh. You killed my son. That was you. What? I knew it didn't work. Oh, I thought you said that was you. Just stick in my life. Make me trust you. Take care of you. I just want to fix this. How can you do that? You're gonna erase it all. Take everything away. Give me my baby back. I can try. You can't. I can't. And then make her a witness to all of that? Let me fix it. What? Sir, and then give her more trauma? What in the world? Oh, God. Let's take it this long. <laughs> I think I'm gonna feel guilty because I won't. You will. I love you, Henry. Frank? Why do you get up? This is what you do this for me. This isn't what she wants. This is exactly what you do. You made your point! She can't survive this. Pull it! I do it! Pull it, Frank! Please don't, Frank! Please don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Okay, we'll start a week later. Okay. So this is all in one day? No, I, I just, I don't know. 
It, it, it's not all in one day. Why are you Someone went to the police. What are you talking about? Annalise was arrested because of an anonymous source. Annalise called everyone over to the house. Did you know about that? She didn't do this. Why did she lie to my face? She said she didn't know if somebody died in the fire, but she did, didn't she? What are you talking it's about? It's all over the news. There's an unidentified male body. Oh my God, you know who it is. Right. You're not telling me because it's Connor. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, I've got to feel nervous right now. I'll go to the police. She's still Connor, yes. Please just, just tell me. I'm always trying to go to the police. <sighs> Oops. Sorry about that. So he's alive, so then I leave uh, Nate or Frank as the unidentified male, right? Yeah, because yeah, my suspected was Wes, Connor, Asher, and Nate. We know Asher's alive. I can cross him out. We know Wes is alive. We know Connor's alive. So, yeah, Nate or Frank. I didn't add Frank to this list, but. And I have a feeling it's more likely it's going to be Nate. That's what I think. I think it's going to be Nate. Frank, I mean, because first of all, there's a person that started the fire and then the person that dies in the fire. So I'm just trying to figure out that's two people that has to be. I can't see why Nate would start a fire at her house. And Frank, I can kind of see, but I don't know. He's more remorseful than he is angry about anything. So I right. can't see why he would have a reason to set a fire. Nate doesn't have a reason necessarily right now. He's been distancing himself and starting up. I mean, he is mad at Nate, at least. Don't get me wrong. Um, but he's sleeping with the other um, prosecutor. He got his own thing going on. He ain't really been around lately since their major argument. Uh, and he did still help after Laurel asked. So I just, I haven't seen enough from him to understand why he would start the fire. There's still that one hater dude, like in this episode where he was um, talking to Oliver, um, trying to make them jealous and all of that stuff. That guy, I could definitely see him maybe setting the fire because Annalise did threaten and everybody knows his secret, but he's been pretty chill since then. I mean, he's still snarky, but he... I don't know. He maybe has some alternative motive or maybe the Mahoney's because we just condemned the sun and we know they're dangerous people that hire people. Yeah. So maybe they try to get back at, they try to figure everything out, get back at Annalise and Wes, it's burn possible. the house down. Because I mean, that whole thing wasn't set up. The Charles dude did not kill um, the dad. It I'm, was, de so. I'm, I'm definitely sure that he do be killing people that so. Probably. I don't think that the family's not innocent, but I, we can't say for sure that the son has anything to do with that. And the wife and the, the husband, more than likely, but the husband's dead. Um, well, the husband, we know for sure, does shady stuff. The wife, more than likely. The son, I don't know. But what we do know is they hire people. We, they hire people and set people up to die. And um, To die. Yeah, and other things. So... They definitely could have tried to strike back and set the fire and maybe Nate goes to visit for whatever reason, mend fences, do whatever. I don't know. Yeah, that's the only theory. Yeah, that's the only theory I can come up with. But and then Wes is testifying. I still don't know what that's about. Right. Um just don't know it, I don't know. But anyway, Connor seemed really unhinged for a second. I thought, well, maybe he set the fire. But he's out sleeping with the dude that's trying to sleep with Oliver. So that seems like some sort of revenge thing. He just, I like I said, that Oliver has kept Connor sane. He has definitely tampered um, all his emotions. But now that... And now... Um, I don't know. Oliver just set flame to the building structure. So, I mean, yeah, Oliver noticed everything. He's no dummy. Obviously, he's a hacker, but he noticed that Oliver, I mean, that Connor was damaged and, you know, that he held it together a lot when Oliver was around. So he noticed that, but he wanted to know why. So he went in closer with Annalise and maybe not. I mean, I think he definitely wanted friends, but he definitely wanted to figure out Connor more and that he hasn't. And he notices Connor always tries to push him away. He just, he wants to know why. He's like, there's a part of you that I don't know. And I need to know why. 
And so that curiosity is like, he couldn't figure it out. So he's like, I just need you to go. Um, he still inserted himself, but he's still not finding anything out because nobody wants him to. Um, but yeah. And then the Annalise and Frank thing, it is such a complicated scenario. And it, it's when you look at the entirety of the show, it is like, who do you blame? Everybody has some faults in it, but who do you ultimately blame? I, I want to say Sam. Because he set Frank up to kill Lila, which led to us being introduced to Rebecca and Wes and Rebecca and the Bonnie killing Rebecca, all of that. And right. then, you know, them not knowing who actually did it led, you know, them to accuse Sam, him to get aggressive, Wes to kill him. So a lot of that does stem from Sam. I really do want to blame Sam. Because it all could have been a secret. Frank's... Um uh killing Annalise's baby all that all that would have been a secret if Sam wouldn't have went off the rails and I don't know because it's like Frank did what he did right he felt bad about it Sam used that against him to pressure him into killing Lila so it's like Frank it's your fault for a listening to the Mahonies and working for them also for killing Lila by listening to Frank so you have blame in there Sam for even making you think or thinking you made making you think you had to do this. So like, it was, it's kind of their fault. But then Annalise, uh, you know, she does a lot to protect him, which has led Nate to be dragged in and injured. And then Asher made his own bed because um, they did really good keeping him out of everything. And then the Keating four. Yeah, and he just had to go and run that lady over just because she said, your dad stinks. Yeah, and, and she was <laughs> using his past against him. So that, that was something he set up. Now, Connor and Michaela, I honestly a lot of times agree with their anger because I, I always say this, they did nothing. I mean, they did after the fact. After Sam was murdered, they should have walked out like they had to be doing now. But they didn't, and so now they're complicit forever. Um, yeah, for and Connor real. lost his mind. Michaela, she holds it together very well, but she right. does distance herself. She doesn't put up with it to the Connor point where she's not... Son. Yeah, she, Michaela's like, I'm not helping them with anything anymore. Asher doesn't understand that, but he wasn't there that night to experience that trauma and that stress that they felt because they thought it was over, but it wasn't. And because Annalise helped. And so she's complicit in Sam's stuff, but the rest of this was kind of out of her orbit. And so it's just a lot of blame to go around for different things. But ultimately, none of that tells me how we get to where we get next week. Yeah. It doesn't tell me anything. I don't know. I don't know why I, I was even going know. with that. It was just more of a I feel like next episode is... Oh, never mind. This is episode. Usually the episode nine is what tells us everything. Yeah. About the flashbacks or flash forwards. All right. Well, whatever. We're going to just keep telling you next week. Yeah. But I was glad Laurel, she protected him, but then sent him on his way. You know, went with Wes. Oh, can we talk about that make thing? Because that was messy. Yeah, that was very messy. I, <sighs> now, why... Would they be all up on each other at the hospital that Maggie works at? I just... Yeah, I don't think they thought that one through. Yeah, they didn't think that one through. I thought they were going to a clinic, so I wasn't worried Same. about it. But was it like, apparently all oh, this okay. medical stuff happens in the same building. It's probably one giant hospital. But yeah, that was messy. So now she upset. And then she's going to be in Laurel's care. Or Laurel's right. going to be in, yeah, Laurel's gonna be in her care next week. Because she's going to be she in the fire. Like, the baby daddy was, huh? I hope it is. I hope it ain't Frank's. Yeah, and then he in the verge of killing himself. And then Annalise, she's so grief struck and written, fueled with rage that she wants him to do it. But I know, I can see it on her face. She, she would regret she, it. Yeah, she gonna regret it. She would. And Bonnie knows it. And Bonnie knows her uh, very well. And Bonnie's like, she will regret it, Frank. And so it's like, I don't know what Frank's gonna do. Frank has always usually been very, you know, emo well, very well emotionally controlled. And this season he's been breaking down because he, the one person His that two he... two colors are showing. Yeah, though he he felt beholden to Annalise and to have that, that was like the last part of him I think that he held on to. And without that, he, he's lost. He can't move on with life. He could have took that money and started a new life and never seen Annalise and him again, but he can't let it go. I don't I don't know what, what it is about it, but he just can't let it go, so... I think he just genuinely feels bad. But it's like you genuinely feeling bad still leads you to killing people and breaking into their homes, even contemplate killing them. Like you say you love somebody, but yet you go and take other people's loved ones. Like you, there's something fundamentally wrong with him. I mean, we know we've seen That's his backstory. That's why he was in jail. Right. I also said we've seen his backstory. We know that's in He's him, not a sociopath or whatever. He's just strange. Well, and I don't he, fully. There's something wrong with him. 
Yeah, I fully don't understand him. Like, he feels bad, but he's also somebody that kills somebody. So it's like... <laughs> somebody that kills people. Yeah. And, and that makes it look like they crashed their car. He just does a lot. And the car blew up, and that's why they're bad. The, all these characters are incredibly written and incredibly complicated. There's not... I feel like there's no one way to, to define them. I can't... Yeah. I can't say they're just on a singular path. Like, there's nothing simple about any of them. They're all multi-layered and... Each layer will lead you down a different rabbit hole with them. And each layer has a story to it. And all of it sometimes in present day gets jumbled up. And they make their decisions based off of all these different experiences. And everybody's experiences are so different from one another. It's just too much sometimes. I don't even know if I can make sense sometimes of what I'm saying. I feel like I can, but I don't know. I, I don't know, y'all. We're just going to see. That's all I can tell y'all is we're going to see. Because I don't. I feel like this season was harder to figure out than the other two. I don't think I have anything figured out right now. Other than it's either Nate or Frank that's in the fire. So, I'm closing my book because that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. Of course, you're going to hear what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Subscribe to the page home where we're at. And we will see you guys for more How to Get Away with Murder. Bye.